M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So I recently did a video installing firmware 1.24 into my 52, but they very quickly brought out 125, so there must have been a bug. I'll put the link in the description for the 125 firmware, um, but basically once you've got it, drag the zip that you've got. So let's go to my downloads file. We'll go right click, open a new file, explore a window, move that over here. Then we'll go to my downloads. So I've clicked download on the ICOM site. You just go to the link I've given you for Europe, mind. You look for the America and the Japan one yourself. Click download like so, and it will download up here. It's put it for me. Okay, and then all we've got to do now is reopen those file explorers that we've got open. One of them go to downloads. Double click it. I can see I've downloaded it several times and just drag it into your SD card. So on the left window here, like so, you can see the DAT, the DAT file there. And then we go to our SD card that's plugged in, click it there, like so, and you should see it. Yeah, there it is there. This is your folder from ICOM and then that's in your 52 and let's drag it in. So we've now got two and I might as well delete that one. Delete, that's the 124. And then we're gonna get this one. I'm gonna move it up. We wanna put it last time, if I go back one, we wanna put it in here. So what I find is if I go down like so, it might already, and then move it up to 52. Then it will find it when you put it in the radio. Watch the rest of the video on the installation. Thanks for watching. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Let's add the new firmware 1.24 into our ICOM 52. First thing we're gonna do is prepare the SD card. We do have an SD card in here. If you've never put one in before, you need to go to menu. We'll quickly check our firmware version. I have already done it on this, but we're gonna check it anyway. Set, then go down to others, and then information version and I, I've already updated it but you can see that's how you check to see what you've already got now back out but this time go to SD card go up select SD card if you've never put one in before select format and enter if you've already got you know if you've already got a, a backup then that's fine because what will happen is during the firmware process it will ask you to back up anyway so back out so what you want to do is unmount it. So go down one and just select unmount and press the middle button. You'll get the message and then up one to yes, unmount. Okay, and then turn it round and push it gently and then take out your, your SD card there. So just about get it and it comes out this way. Then over to the PC. Grab your SD card and put it into one of these adapters and put it into your PC. I will copy and paste the changes from version 1.23, but it mentions Bluetooth, GPS, and some CIV improvements. At the PC, just scroll down and click that and download and you'll get the you'll get the file. It'll go to your download folder if you Click your little file explorer here, that yellow one at the bottom. Go to downloads. It's going to be there. Look, it's that white one called 52E124. So that's it. Then we'll uh, all we've got to do now is just open up this. Go to our USB drive that's in our PC, which is here. And the easiest way is just to drag it in. So there's our USB drive. We go to download, oh, go, right click the little yellow folder and go to downloads. And you're gonna open up another window and you're gonna see your file there. Just drag it across like so. So it appears here and then when it's here, just click on it and then push it up until it says move to ID 52 and it's in the right place now. Then all we've got to do is take it out of the, the adapter and put it back into the radio and then we can do our firmware. Okay, we're at the radio. We're gonna put this in, like so. Careful, don't force it. Here is a very light click. 
then we'll go, we'll just back out completely, we push in the VFO, and then we'll go back in, menu, go to move, maneuver to setting, select, SD card, up to firmware update, select, you get the warning, or do we have to scroll down, yep, scroll down, do you agree, and you go yes. Make a backup, we've already done that, so we go no this time, but you can say yes and it'll back up. Finds the firmware, 52E 1.24, which is one, what we want. Oh, and it says illegal data. Ah, I've just realized now, I've got the Japanese version, so I'm gonna go and get the Japanese version. Okay, that's in there, select, go down. Do you want to update? Yes. Checking file, loading firmware. It's, it's, it's a very easy firmware update on the 52 and the 705. Updating DSP. Now make sure you've got full battery when you're doing this. Now the more recent firmware updates to the 705 added the uh, the Wi-Fi way of connecting to repeaters. I think they call it monitor mode. But anyway, let's see if that's in there. We'll go menu, set, go down to others, information, version, they are 1.24. So everything's updated. So let's see if we can find what they're on about. So go settings, Bluetooth, Bluetooth on, Headset data. Yeah, I'm not seeing any obvious change. But at least we've got the uh, the firmware now. Turn up the volume. And yeah, not much activity tonight. Anyway, that's it. That's your firmware done. Thanks for watching my channel. Seven.